Hi everyone and great to see you. I'm Andrew Geeson and let's get loose in our watercolour painting. So we've got the drawing all ready prepared and uh, Dangerous Dave seems to have arrived. A bit late Dangerous Dave. He cut that to the wire but he's got a little bit of water on him so it must be raining today. I'm just going to circle that around the centre of the flower and that's it. That's it. So thanks for joining me guys and see you again next week. Only kidding, only kidding. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get our uh, liquid paint on Dangerous Dave and we're just going to apply that to the uh, wetted area. Yeah? So we're going for Rose Opera to uh, the top petal there. Just drag that around. Fairly central of the petal. But look how liquid that just uh, applies itself. And you might think, well, what is he doing? He's missed the lines. He do not know where he's going. It don't look red. Oh, I don't know. Cad red now. Just dropping that on. Inside, you'll notice, inside of the Rose Opera. And just letting that bleed together. Alizarin Crimson now. This is a... This is a barrage of reds, a lizard crimson, just right in the centre, dotting its way around, just letting it float and flow together, like birds of a feather. So that will gently merge itself together. But Big Brian is here to help. He's got a little bit of water on him there. And all we're going to do is just rock around the top tonight of the flower. That could be a song, couldn't it? Rock around the top of the petals, yeah? A little bit of water. And then just move the brush a bit, that's all, yeah? Petal number two, please. Cashier number two. Petal number two. Number three, that's very easily done, yeah? So we've gone all around the edges, we've got the centre in there which is a stronger tone, you'll notice, and then we just dab a little extra. Because anywhere you put water guys, that paint is going to follow. Like a little lap dog, or a little putty cat, that's what happens. Water is your best friend in this uh, instance. Mini Dave again. What's he doing now? Cerulean Blue Mini Dave. Going round the centre, Mini Dave. What's got into you? To one side of the centre, this is astronomical. Astronomical, but well done. Good idea. I like what you're doing. Cad Red, Mini Dave. And the fab thing about these brushes are they are synthetic and empathetic as well. The good thing about that is they'll stay in position. So you can get these nice little flip lines on. They're not all flimsy and limp. No, they'll go in the direction you want them to go, which is what you need. When you've got a lot of liquid on the paint, then the loose gang really do come into their own. All the different shapes you need, all the things. Cat orange there just in the centre. Rolling that around. A little bit of Indian red as well. Why not? I bought the tube, I may as well use it. But notice how I'm putting that down, I'm just dabbing it down. I'm not trying to brush stroke it. And mauve as well. All in the center, keeping a little bit of a white gap around that area. And that gives you a nice little focal point, center of attention for the image. Purple, 
Miss Rigger, what a combination. Got Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Purple. And Miss Riggs. Just bringing out little flicks from the centre. Just to shape it. Just to give the uh, very light impression of that centre area. little dots as well and a little bit of a lizard in crimson still on Miss Rigger She's working hard, but doing a very good job. Bringing out those little veins within the petal. Very nicely done, easily done. And sometimes they bleed off into the wetted area and sometimes they remain fairly static so it depends how dry the paper is by the time we've got to that point. Little bit of flick eyes there from Miss Rigger, great brush for that. Ideal just for flicking a little bit of colour on, just to give it a bit of movement. And a bit of sap green now. A bit of stem work. Beautiful. Effervescent, if I knew what it meant. darker tone into the stem as well just to pick that out don't forget the benefit of water yeah very useful very important and don't forget the benefit of the right kit so I use these guys all the time a little bit of cerulean blue now just to pick out negatively the edge of the petals there they go, Mini Dave. So he's one of the loose gang. And that's what I call my brushes because they keep everything nice and loose. We've got large and small dagger brushes. We've got a big round brush, a big brine, and the fabulous Miss Rigger. That will pick out the details. So if you're interested, guys, just drop over to the shop sometime at loosewatercolors.com and we can uh, sort you some out over there, get them in the post to you and hopefully uh, they will help in getting you loose in your painting. It's worked for a lot of guys but there we are guys, we're about done. Fabulous little painting, quickly done and a great result. So I hope you enjoyed that. Do please subscribe to the YouTube channel just to help me out and it uh, allows me to do more videos for you to enjoy.